According to statistics, in the Gambia, it is estimated that 15% of the population is disabled, and across Africa, over 80% of amputees go without a prosthetic leg. However, with a limited paper trail coupled with transport challenges in the most remote parts of the country, on affordability and inaccessibility to medical attention, it is impossible to know the true impact of the issue. Amputation can lead to isolation, unemployment, poor mental health, and stigma. Jackie Church is the founder and CEO of Global Longevity through Village Enterprises Globe, a non-charitable foundation operating both in the Gambia and the United Kingdom. Committed to supporting amputees in the Gambia by creating an enabling environment, Jackie and her team are working tirelessly to restore hope and confidence in amputees. At her residence, which she rents as a rehabilitation center for amputees who are also provided prosthetic legs. She told Jatis what motivated her to sacrifice her time and resources to ensure young amputees have the same privileges and opportunities in life as any other person, regardless of their condition with her limited resources. And we started by doing a lot of work in Lower Naomi from 2008. We have a lot of solar water projects there, community gardens, bakeries, self-sustainable income generation. And in 2019, we came across a 15-year-old boy who was amputated and they could not afford the fitting for the prosthetic, which was very sad. And we spent a few weeks, myself and Babu Kasonko, the project manager, researching in Gambia who is available to help these children. Who is there to help the child amputees who cannot afford a prosthetic? Their families, you know, struggling, losing hope. And what we found was that there was no one at all to help these children. So we asked our trustees in UK, as well as our trustees here in Gambia, if we could look at this and see if we could help Dembo and any other children. We now have 21 children on the child amputee programme. Gradually, as these young amputees go through daily rehabilitation, they can now do some exercise such as football and bicycle riding, but the process requires time before they catch up. Taking care of new amputees is a huge challenge that requires resources, dedication and sacrifice before they adapt. But for Jackie and her team, there is nothing more pleasing and important than to support these young amputees whose conditions need time and regular attention. They need a lot of help and support. So they come to this compound, my house, which I rent, and they live here on a residential basis. Um, they learn through our project manager and myself and our trustee, Patricia, they learn how to use these legs, how to manage the legs. To begin with, it's very, very difficult indeed, very difficult. As we can see with Samuel, who is wa walking right now with Barbuka. He only had his prosthetic fitted late yesterday afternoon, so this is his first day on rehabilitation. But we can see from the other two boys there with the balls how through good work, good nutrition and a lot of support that they can advance, they can play, they can jump. Normalisation, acceptance, integration, that's what we want for these children. We fund their education into school to make sure they are getting an education. We teach them how to ride bicycles. We buy bicycles for them so that they can be mobile and be mobilised. To change the narrative on amputees, the Foundation is looking for collaboration and support, particularly in the areas of mobility to facilitate regular visits to other amputees in the country and rehab centre for effective implementation of the project. Bawa Sila, GRTS.